Hi, everyone. We are Abo Defense, and we will make a presentation about Mexico's cybersecurity status. During this presentation, we will talk around industrial cybersecurity footprint, key data, perspective, smart production, and sensor security experience, honeypot, lesson learned, and opportunities. Thank you, ICI Village, DEFCOM 28, and the Cyber College on this opportunity to make a presentation of our Mexico industrial cybersecurity. Talking about Mexico facts and figures. We have in facts and figures in terms of the economy, Mexico is ranking on the position 12 around the world. Manufacturing services, transportation, utilities and spending are the main economical activities in Mexico. In concern of industrial sector, the manufacturing has an activity of 175 billion US dollars. Key subject focus on IC industrial servity for this presentation. The top industrial sector are in Mexico, the automotive industry. It's the top five world with OEMs and their supply change. Medical is the second position in Latin America behind Brazil, aeronautics 60% more competitive and electronics, the third largest economical region worldwide. Also Mexico have other industries like uh, oil, electricity, uh, food, textiles, agriculture, chemical services, consumers and furniture, among other sectors. On the industrial sectors, more are important that the main manufacturing companies use 55% of insulated PC, PLCs inside the IC area. Most are insulated and most not connected to any network. 3% of use industrial service at the shop floor and connected to the network. Most of these industrial service are set by the automotive international companies like uh, from Germany or Japan, among other ones. Most of the industrial companies are located from the center to the north of Mexico. As an example, the automotive industry is located from the center and the north of Mexico. In the case of the aerospace and medical industries are situated on the northwest of Mexico. On the network subjects, we will see the, that the stronger structure is based more in the north of Mexico. Southern Mexico is more agriculture and other topics. Mexico have around 50.3 million IP address, an average of 7.5 megabits and the cyber attacks are around 28 from 195 countries. So basically the most important in the case of the cyber attacks is mainly attacks to the uh, government offices and other departments like uh, you know, banks and services. In terms of the SWAT, the IC security, the strength is the Mexico is growing in the industry 1.0. Is focused to the smart production, smart logistics, smart enterprises, among other ones, which require in a short period of time the implementation of the industrial cybersecurity practices. For the US Mexico Canada trade, which was released the 1st of July 2020, covered the topic on digital and cybersecurity rules and process between the countries. It's a major important thing because especially for Mexico, because Mexico needs to follow up and implement the good practices and lens or lens necessary to accomplish the digital security and internet policies from this trade. In terms of the weakness, Mexico has no deep knowledge on ICS security topics. Also the companies and the owners had no idea even awareness about the industrial cybersecurity. For unknown insecure systems, there are insufficient information. There are opportunities as well. The US-Mexico-Canada trade is focused to increase commercial and competitiveness region against other markets, Asia markets or European markets. These trades include the specific actions to meet cybersecurity terms as the first one. Trades, according to our experience, the most attack to industrial is related to ransomware, especially on the RIP systems, as well as on all the internal attacks is not recorded at this time. Based on the automotive industrial sector, Mexico is located, Mexico are located American companies as well European and Japanese companies, which is are located on the supplier chain. 
The European most used the industrial service security architecture according with the ISO and the improved and performance basis 4.0. The merits of the concept are the data in real time and non-real time, the integration and sharing data and connectivity. For the American enterprises, the, the fall of the American industry, they follow the American industry internal reference architecture, call it IIRA. They are used as a key merits, real time, no real time, integration, shared data and connectivity, but as well, they use the protocols, boost protocols like a profit boost, mod boost, scan, internet, profit net, and the programs like a ladder and other devices with different kind of protocols, which is one of the proper things to use for industrial architecture cyber security. According with our experience, during the last couple of years, we implemented for the industrial sector and the architecture a different kind of layers. One of the layers is the sensor integrity that we will see in the next slide, the equipment, the boost data, and the network. The word industrial is in terms of the smart factories at this time, using industry 4.0 concept. They set the connectivity between machines and PLCs and other intelligent sensors, as well other equipment. So the smart factory has integrated all the elements in the shop floor integrated in one, in one unit. To accomplish and fulfill the strategy, we set that a smart production concept. This smart production sub concept is accomplished to fulfill the strategy that we set for the smart production. The smart production is set in a individual modules which are interconnected to the smart factory. This architecture integrates components from machines, sensors, PLC, network, servers, database, machine learning, machine to machine, analytics, visualization, and artificial intelligence, among other technology and innovations. For a clean implementation, it was a set additional smart sensors to boost the power and the brains at the shop floor to implement the full smart production. That is the new trend. On later the slide, we'll be talk about the smart sensor service security. One important note on this activity that I want to share with you as experience is the synchronization and speed process key factor for industrial cyber security. It means low time in an industrial process is not a problem as we can use and save the cyber security procedures. High speed industrial process, which required up and down information to act, for example, a valve or open a, open a, a, a sector or review a motor, less than 500 milliseconds make a major complexity to implement the smart factory with industrial cyber security. Also, the lesson learned about the synchronization topic give it two strategies recommendation in according with our experience. One refers to set the PLC responsibility as it was designed at a long time, means that the devices was to control dedicated process and machines, only that. We will not recommend it that the PLC is doing extended activities. That means doing everything. So everybody can say that the PLC and share and tell you that the PLC make everything. This is not true. This is a dangerous situation. The second one is to reduce or eliminate PLC connectivity into an industrial boost network. That means that the PLC has to do its own job. One is concerned, of course, if we put the PLC on the network, is to reduce the potential vulnerability. And the second one is to reduce the issue on the synchronization on the process and the boost network. One of the topics to confirm that we have experienced that is difficult to set a service security, industrial service security. For the smart sensors and service security strategy that we set as six, you know, which means the S is a sensor, the I is integrity, the C is for connectivity, and the S for the security, this concept that we are implemented, we use it, we divide it in three blocks. One is related to the sensor integrity, the sensor connectivity and sensor service security as mentioned. The sensor integrity includes physical and functionality layers. The physical take the sensor damage, which is common sometimes that people can damage during the process at the shop floor, or could be on, not intentional to damage the sensor. 
So the cyber security protection tell us that, that the damage is made on the sensor and then we have to be replaced or make an action immediately. Also the cycle life of the sensor is important because the cycle life of the sensor, when the sensor is used by a resistance to, to review or sense the level of the water, they can be changed immediately when we see that the response of the information is not quite right. So we're using this information and review as a status control loop to be that the cycle life of the sensor is okay. Actually as well, in terms of the functionality, the views of the sensor, as well the software, the program, there are main key important things. The software and the program, they can be used or that could be as well adopted in terms of the somebody can have and connected with the RRC 235 or another bus communication, they can make it and change the software and the program. We as well, we set on this strategy as it, you know, the actions and the, the roadblocks on the firewall that nobody can change the software and the program. In terms of the sensor connectivity, everybody knows. Profit boost, model boost, so this topic I will not to be in detail. And the, and the subject of sensor cyber security, the statutory control give it also the opportunity to review that the physical and functionality, the, the sensor is okay. Also self detection and self assessment is provide as well that the system as well the protocols of the software program and communication are okay. We put an outside on this process the cryptography code because according with the mentioned in the last slides the synchronization on the latency of the process in terms of the high performance processes is not quite okay. We set as well an additional alert console. That means that this process, the alert console process, we set a different boost communication. It's not in the same protocol that we send it as the information that are sent it to the, to the, to the system. It's sent it in another, in another channel and as well another kind of information which that tell us exactly if the, is is the sensor integrity, physical and functionality is abducted. In terms of the uh, essential of the sensor cyber security, this show in really two blocks, one and three blocks. One is outside of the system, which is the data interface, and the other ones are connected. The detection search, which is called on the left block, no, we call it a dummy because this is essential just one thermopar or just a resistance that they move according to the level of the water, we call it a, dem, a, dummy, a dummy sensor. It is dummy sensor connected via an I square C protocol. This protocol has four modes. The standard mode is usually with a speed of 0 0.1 megabits per second. The information is digital, digitalized and then used to the perform on the program with a specific language. The program with with this has an algorithm and make the action and perform the activities that which it was programmed. One of them is to send the information via standard protocol to outside of the world, which means that to send the information to the PLC or the model bus or another kind of communication to the data interface, which is, is important because the different kind of net protocols, it was difficult to make a cybersecurity performance. That means that experience that we have is the asynchronization is a very key factor. One topic is in reference of the I square C protocol. Sensing information in some processes is a critical element, especially with a high performance process. Process with production and security information can be lost information only because the process of the boost communication synchronization is not aligned with the process synchronization. And the PLC, if it has a timer and a timing delay, if it's possible to miss key information of the process. That means on the case that let, let in, see, less than 500 milliseconds and using a crack to code on this communication can be a put an endangered situation the entire system. So we solve this issue using new security paths in the entire architecture. It is clear that integrated crypto code, as we know from the sensor to outside to the boost node, is not feasible according to our experience today, based on the total boost and the process synchronization. Both things are important and important to do the cybersecurity, industrial cybersecurity activities. 
The opportunities that we have an IC cyber security is in terms of the monitoring. Monitoring the sensor integrity that we saw, the equipment safely and the boot security as main uh, architectural visibility and center management. Defense detections in terms of the boost protocol and the peripheral devices evaluation. The threat detection as a sensor and equipment and the malicious code as well. The prevention as the incident response and services and as well the equipment risk assessment, which mean to review the peripheral devices, the service equipment and the network devices. During this process, and in terms of the IC industrial service security opportunities, we set a deception exercise. We set a honeypot, lesson lens, and the training. The, my friend and colleague of this entire venture, which with Alfonso as well, we will see in the next presentation from Victor. Uh, well, guys, uh, uh, thank you for your time. I'm glad to be here. And well, as you know, there are many experiments and previous publications about honeypots. Uh, we apply it for this work on two areas that could be joined uh, in a small footprint. I mean, a small footprint to, to detect uh, internal, uh, internal uh, events and incidents. Uh, well, the first one is the training to learn core concepts from previous incidents and learn beyond buzzwords and click based cybersecurity news because we thought we think that could, this could be overwhelming for many of us. The second one is to be productive. I mean, to get productive data that allow us to have enough evidence to resolve an incident. To implement this, there are previous conditions, previous steps that are important to be known by, net, by the network owners, like a correct network installation, a legal review, and patents to see results focused on ICS systems versus general malware. Um, the, the honeypots as idea and philosophy is very attractive because it's a good way to see, a, to see a, an attack in real time. And well, you can learn from it and also help, helps to replicate previous attacks. Um, in some moments, cybersecurity could be overwhelming for some people. There are too much to learn. But based on previous attacks that, uh, that we saw, there are core concepts that could be studied. These concepts are covered by the major corporation matrices. And this gave us a structured way to do it. And the second one is, well, how to handle incident. This could be a learner too. And also the ICS architecture concepts are important to give a general path. And finally, the idea of this experiment or, or, or honeypot is that could be installed by power users and not only by cybersecurity people. Um, learning through analyzing attacks, well, obviously is the first option, but there is another game, a uh, honeypot called give productive data in a, in a traceable way. There, there are three main sources to start. The first one, the Windows host from the multiple layers of the ICS and enterprise network. The second one, the, 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 the network in the different layers too. And finally, the emulation of the services. And well, all of these in the, in the internal network. Uh, the first component in our, in our architecture is the Windows host that are being used in different layers. We looked for simple components and tricks that could give us important data about malware. And well, with this setup, uh, we got multiple samples. For example, with, with the file system trick, uh, we got multiple, multiple samples. And also uh, from the network traffic, uh, we observe that uh, the, the most popular uh, wormhole ports are being used too. Uh, and now regarding lateral movement and ransomware cases, we saw that the biggest and easiest exploits are being used as first option. Um, from the network side, the, the, the another component in the architecture, uh, our idea is to keep all the metadata possible as first pri priority and the raw data 
uh, from the multiple sites a second objective. This could be achieved using SIC and, and Moloch, these open source uh, tools. But to implement these tools, the Malcolm project helped us a lot to, to make a quick uh, setup in a productive environment. With this setup, we were able to investigate multiple network movements from the multiple layers of the, of the network and also uh, to detect dual home PCs. Um, about, uh, about the DMZ, um, as I mentioned in the, in, the, in the first slides, our idea is to make an investigation in the, in the internal network. Uh, however, as you know, the DMC setup was analyzed multiple times in previous, in previous investigations. And as you know, the detection is very noisy and also it's a high risk. So for that reason, uh, we focus on internal networks. But some setups was, exo was exposed in a, in a short time using a, a Mexican IPs. And there are two important details that, that worth to be mentioned. The first one is the timing of the attack. There is a correlation between the exposition of the IP on a network passing sensing service versus non-indexed IPs. And finally, there is a gain if multiple protocols are being used instead of only one. And well, finally, to mimic services, a simple setup was performed too. Uh, on, the tra on, the, on, the, on these four uh, sites. The first one is a network emulation. With this, uh, we, we found that there are many, uh, many pieces of software that allow you to uh, emulate any, any, any port, to, to replicate any port and, uh, and, and copy the, this kind of behavior. The second one is about the file servers on the shop floor. For this, uh, the use of honey files were the option. And for the web replication from the front end, uh, front end uh, web admin consoles, we used social engineer toolkit and also HTTP track. And well, finally, uh, the most important component is Compot. As you know, Compot is a very popular uh, piece of software to, to deploy uh, honeypots. And um, we use this with, with, with some physical components. And uh, to make a quick uh, setup for the power users, uh, we use Teapot as a main platform. With this, the use of uh, Teapot uh, was the fastest way to make an implementation by the power users. And well, uh, that's it guys. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, as, as, as a remarks, uh, we saw these points. The USMCA trade is an opportunity uh, to, to improve the cybersecurity. Uh, the second one, well, Mexico is an undiscovered market for the ICS, uh, ICS cybersecurity. As Octavio mentioned, there are uh, good, num good numbers uh, that prove this. Uh, also, there is an opportunity to, 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 train, to train people in this, in this topic. In all the industrial cyber, in, in all the industrial uh, networks, uh, we found that there are a lot of uh, talent people that that could learn in a very in a very fast way, and there is a uh, passionate uh, about this. Uh, the Honeypot technology and the use of the ATTCQ uh, metrics for for ICS as part of the of, of formal training and threat detection is a good trick too. And finally, the speed of the network is not a speed of the process talking about cyber security. And well, uh, thank you for your time. Um, if you have questions, please uh, drop us a, a line. We will be on the ICS Village Discord channel. So thank you for your time. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>